Many, many lessons ago now, I introduced the concept of robot instructions by saying that there are two basic types of robot instructions, those that do things and those that sense things. So far in this course, we've covered a lot of ways that your robot can do things. You can make the robot move, or draw on its screen, or say things. Now, for the first time, we're actually going to have the chance to start sensing things. As we learned previously, the robot can use its sensors to sense how bright it is around the robot, how noisy it is around the robot, whether the robot is touching something, and whether the robot's near something. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to control when you leave a loop based on sensed information. So far, we've seen three different ways to control your loop. First, we learned to repeat a fixed count of times. Then, we learned how to repeat the loop forever. And finally, we learned how to repeat until at least a certain number of seconds had elapsed. In this lesson, we're going to learn one more way to control your loop based on information from one of your sensors. In order to do this first example, you'll need to have a light sensor and one of these wires that looks like a telephone connector. If you have the commercial version of the set, then you can use the color sensor instead of the light sensor. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to write a program that keeps saying good morning until the light sensor thinks it's dark, and then we'll say goodbye one time. Okay, if we just wanted to say good morning once and then good night once, it would be easy. We just grab a sound block and drag it over and say good morning. Good morning. And then another sound block and say goodbye. goodbye. Um, so that would be easy, but of course I said we want to do this. We want to say good morning a bunch of times and just keep saying that until we see a dark light. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a loop. And let's stick this loop at the very front. And let's put good morning inside of there. Now, if we wanted to say good morning for roughly two seconds, that would be pretty easy. We already know how to do that. We could click on the loop. And instead of forever, we'll make it time, and we'll set it to two seconds. And if we ran this, it would just say, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, until we got to two seconds, and then it would say goodbye. Um, but we don't want to say good morning for two seconds. We want to keep saying good morning until it gets dark, and then say goodbye. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to do this using the light sensor that came with the educational kit. But at the end of this demonstration, I'll also tell you what to do if you have the color sensor. It's almost the same thing. So we're going to change the control on this loop. Um, instead of having it controlled by time, we're going to have it controlled by sensor. And I'm going to say that the sensor that I want to use, let me just click on here. My machine's being slow. There we go, is the light sensor. Okay. Oops. Okay. So there you go. I switched it to the light sensor. Now, notice over here, it actually tells us that it assumes that the light sensor is going to be plugged into port 3. We could click on one of these other port numbers and set it to a different port number, but let's just leave it set to 3. So I'm just going to plug one end of my wire into my uh, light sensor here and the other end into uh, port 1, 2, 3 on my NXT. Okay. okay, for the light sensor, 0 is very dark and 100 is very bright. You can actually find out what your current brightness is by downloading any program that uses a light sensor to your robot. So let me download this program. I'm going to plug my robot into my computer and turn it on. And then let me hit download. There we go. And now if I leave the computer, if I leave the robot plugged into the computer and you look down here in the bottom left corner, it may not be very visible on uh, your screen right now, but if you look at it on your own screen when you're running the software, you'll see right now it says that the brightness is like 76. It's very bright here in the studio. And if I kind of put it under, under something, it goes down to 30 or 31. 
I hold it under the light again, it gets very high, 66. I hide it and it goes down to something like 31 or 32. If you're trying this along with me, then you'll have noticed that when you downloaded the program to your NXT, a little red LED on your light sensor lit up. We'll talk about why this happens later, but for now, you should know that you can turn it off if you want. In the control panel for the loop based on the light sensor, you can select the Generate Light checkbox. If Generate Light is checked, like it is now, then the light turns on, and if I uncheck it, then the light turns off. See, it's off. I'll check it. The light should come back on. There it is. I'll uncheck it again and the light goes off. For this particular case, we want to just use the light in the room. So make sure that the generate light checkbox isn't checked. So that's not selected. Um, now, once I've turned that off, if I put my hand over the light sensor, so I'm covering it completely, I look down here and I get somewhere between, I don't know, seven or eight, five sometimes. Um, and in the studio, when I take my hands off the light sensor, now I've got a reading of like 68, 72, something fairly high. Um, so let's say I want to stop saying good morning when the light is less than 10, okay? So, so far, here's our program. We said we were going to repeat based on the, we were going to repeat based on the light sensor. And what we're going to do is we're going to repeat based on the light sensor until the light is less than, and then I'll just change this to 10. So there we go. So now let's just review what I've got here. We go into the loop, we say good morning, right? And our check to see whether we leave the loop or not is, is the light less than 10? That would be the light sensor plugged into port three. Is that less than 10? If it is less than 10, then we're gonna leave the loop and say goodbye. If it's not less than 10, it's gonna say do it again and we'll go through and we'll say good morning again. All right, let's download and test this. Okay. So let's give it a shot. Let me cover it up. Goodbye. Worked. Let's trace this program. Let's assume that we start with all the lights on so the sensor is sensing a high number. The first block that we encounter is the loop and it says, welcome, come in. So we go in. We arrive at the sound block and the NXT says, good morning. Now we get to the end of the loop and we check the level of brightness in the room. The sensor still reads a very bright light, so that number is not less than 10. In fact, it happens to be much, much bigger. So the loop says, do it again. We continue in this manner as long as the light stays lit. Every time we check the light sensor, the value is still not less than 10. So we do it again and again and again. At some point, I cover the sensor with my hand, maybe while the NXT is saying good morning. Now when the loop checks the light sensor, the value is less than 10. So the loop says go away, and the NXT says goodbye. And since there's no more blocks, the NXT cleans up. That is, it turns off the motors and the speaker and resets the screen. For those of you with the educational kits, that's the end of this lesson. If you have a commercial kit, let me explain to you the difference in using the color sensor. Using the color sensor is actually very similar. If you click on that loop block um, and switch instead of light sensor, we're going to pick color sensor. And then you need to switch the action of your color sensor to be a light sensor. And again, you want to turn off the light function, so it's not displaying any light. And now we have to say, this is the kind of less than switch. So we want to say darker than, and then we'll just make it 10 again. So if we look at this, we say, if the color sensor is acting like a light sensor, it's plugged into port three, 
the light function is turned off because this isn't checked and we're going to wait until we're going to stay in the loop until it is darker than 10 as in, in other words less than 10 and that's it that's the only difference